Okay, this is a problem that I saw in one of the Hong Kong school competition. The problem was that we had to calculate the square root of 2000 times times 2001 times 2002 times 2003 plus 1. So we had to calculate the square root of this expression over here. Now in these kind of problem it is always better to see and try to find if there is any pattern. So the first observation that we could make from here is that 2000, 2001, 2002 and 2003 they are four consecutive integers. So let us see uh, what happens when we take some other four consecutive integers. So let us say suppose we take uh, case of n is equal to 1. So let us say this becomes a 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 plus 1. So we know that 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25 which can be written as 5 square. So the square root of this expression the square root of this expression will be 5. Uh, let us take another case n is equal to 2. For n is equal to 2, this can be written as 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 plus 1, which is 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 6 is 120, 120 plus 1 is 121. This is 11 square. n is equal to 3, 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 plus 1, 6 times 5 is 30, 30 times 12 is 360 plus 1 is equal to 361. This is equal to 19 square, uh, we will take one more case, n is equal to 4, uh, 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 plus 1. Now 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 42 is 840, 840 plus 1 is equal to 841. And now let us see if this is a perfect square. So we will try, try to take the square root of 841. Uh, this is 2 times 2 4, 4, 41, 4, 9, 9, 9 times 9 is 81, 8 here, 9 times 4 is, is 36 plus 8 is 44, yeah, so this is 29 square. So, uh, let us say our this expression 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003 plus 1. Now this expression can be written as n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3. These are four consecutive integers plus 1. Let us expand this. This is n square plus n. That is, I have just multiplied these, this expression here. And if I multiply this expression over here, this will be n square plus 5n plus 6 plus 1. is equal to n to the power 4. I'm just expanding this now. Uh, plus 5 n cube plus 6 n square plus n cube plus 
5 n square plus 6 n plus 1 mm -hmm. so this is n to the power 4 plus 5 n cube plus n cube is 6 n cube plus 6 n square plus 5 n square is 11 n square plus 6 n plus 1 so we need to find out if this expression over here is a perfect square now there are two ways of doing it uh, we can already see that this is n to the power 4 so the square root should be of the order n to the power 2 so this is much simpler method so the general expression of this square root that if I try to take the square root of this expression over here the general expression should be a n square plus b n plus c times whole square should be equal to this expression now we know that in this expression over here n to the power 4 has a coefficient of 1 if we if we expand this we already know that the n to the power 4 term is coming only from the first term so this implies that a should be equal to 1 as this a must be equal to 1 similarly we see that the, co the constant term over here is 1 and the only way we can get the constant term in this expression is c square so we know that c square is also equal to 1 so it implies that c should also be equal to 1 uh, I'm not taking minus 1 case because we do not see any negative signs here so this expression can be simplified to n square plus bn plus 1 if I try to take the square of this one I should be able to get this result so let us try to expand this one if I try to expand this one we get n to the power 4 plus b square n square plus 1 plus 2 times uh, bn cube plus 2 times bn plus 2 times n square uh, so we can already see that this can be written as n to the power 4 plus 2 b n cube over from over here plus b square plus 2 n square plus 2 b n plus 1 now if we compare this expression as if we compare expression number let us call this expression number 1 and let's call this expression number 2 if we compare 1 and 2 we know that 2 b n q should be equal to 6 n cube or b should be equal to 3 and just as for verification we also know that b square plus 2 should be equal to the coefficient of n square which is 11 and if we keep b is equal to 3 we get 9 plus 2 11 so we know that b is equal to 3 is is the correct expression so what it implies is that if we take n n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus 3 plus 1 and if we take the square of this expression it can be written as it can be written as n square plus 3n plus 1 because we already find out that 
that this b is equal to 3 so this can be written as uh, n square plus 3 n plus 1 if you want to verify it further you can just simply square these expressions and you should be able to verify for yourself that these two expressions are equivalent so now coming to the original problem we have to solve this for the original problem is asking you to solve for n is equal to 2000 so for so for n is equal to 2000 this is 2000 square which is 400 thousand plus 3n which is 6000 plus 1 which is equal to 6001 and 6001 which is equal to 400 six zero zero one 